character. But hold on. Now, after Mr. Jason left, then here comes Mr. Willick, the head honcho, another general manager. But first of all, he was all cool from the get-go. He was cool as hell. You know, have you have you been to prison, right? Have you? These are for the people who've been to prison who can understand this. This is very simple. Have you been to prison and you come across a prison guard, right? A prison guard that's so damn cool. He looks cool as fuck. He looks cool to talk to and everything. Then all of a sudden, he comes that asshole. Next couple months later, next couple days later, he becomes a real asshole to you. Has that ever happened? Oh, okay. Hey, cool, 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 cool. Because um, that's what happened later. After a couple months later, he becomes a real asshole. And I'm not saying a real asshole, real asshole. I'm talking about like he just becomes an asshole later on. So and the asshole's like 2018. So, but anyway, you know he. So after you know after being there for about three years, three years, three years, I've been there. He comes in a year later, and this is like in 2017. The start of 2017. He comes in on the start of 2017. That whole year, he has seen me doing the same routine. He has never talked to me. He never changed the rules on me. He never did that. He has saw the business how it was supposed to be run. But then now, later on, after my cousin, after she finally became a uh, after she finally became a manager. But how did she get that management? She started as a server. But then afterwards, they got her to be a fucking manager. So I mean. I thought that, you know, I get it. Uh, certain people can't get there in a fast pace, but that's kind of too much pressure, don't you think? I mean, you know, you don't say, you know what? Hey, we need another manager. You want to be a fucking manager? Oh, you fucking do? Well, shit, get your ass up here. You're going to be a manager today. No, you know, that's like, that's too much pressure. They're like, oh, yeah, I want to be a fucking manager. But guess what? That's like, that's like asking a, that's like asking her, hey, girl, you want to be my girlfriend? And you're like, oh, yeah, you would? All right, let's go. Let's, let's get together and fucking kiss and all that shit. And then the next day later, she can't do it. She's like, she, 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 she was cool with it from the moment, and then all of a sudden she's like, you know what? No, nah, I can't do this. And you're like, why? Why? Why you? Why you don't want to be with me? Why? Is it because I'm too fat? Is it because I'm too ugly? Or am I, am I being stupid? Or what? 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 what why? Why you? Why you don't want to be with me? It's because we're moving too fast. Nah, you ain't. You tripping? No, we ain't moving too fast. We're not moving too fast. It's just, you know, I, I really like you and everything. I understand. I understand you like me and all, and I like you too. But you know, we. Just just need to take it slow, don't you think? I don't know what you're talking about. But, you know, you, know, you kind of get my drift, you know. But, so, as her first time, you know, she's going pretty slow. At it, but why would you even put my cousin as a manager, for fuck's sakes? I mean, she's all right now at this point. She's cool as fuck. But the starting beginning of it? Garbage. Shit trash. You know, she was, mm-mm, no good. No good. Shit. If I would have had her as a general, uh, if I had her as a manager, pff, she wouldn't even, pff, nah. She wouldn't last that long. But, you know, give a benefit of the doubt. She showed it. She proved it. She proved everything that she can actually last longer. And I, and I appreciate that in herself that she was and she was a good manager too now here comes mr fucking aaron mr aaron now this dude he has a short fucking temper but i can tell you this he's the coolest freaking manager ever this manager and i'm being honest that manager he is the dopest fucking manager ever he's the manager so now you only stuck with three managers mr aaron miss i'm not gonna say my cousin's name uh we're gonna call her uh what's her dr pepper right okay so we got mr aaron got dr pepper and um got, you know you got miss dr pepper and also um you got mr willard so there's only three managers there right right okay so now now after a year later goes by everything's going perfectly smooth throughout that whole year of 2017 the whole year goes by and now here comes 2018 right? You already seen the video of what happened to me, and you know, you already seen that bullshit. But you know, here's the now, here it comes later on. Now, this is why I have that thought, and this is why I say I quit. Well, I didn't say the words, I didn't go up there and tell them I quit, I just didn't show up the next fucking day. So, this is what happened. You know, one day I walk in, so 10 again, pretend I just walked in the doors, everything's going perfectly smooth. One day, everything's going, everything's being, everything's good. I'm happy as hell, you're happy as hell, you know. Fuck you, you know, I, you know, I, I bring my drink with me and I'm just like, right? I'm happy. I'm so happy. And then I, I get this urge that, um, today's not, might not be my happiest day. So now this is what happened to me when I showed up that day. Now, remember, this is a year later. So he's only been there for about a year or two. Um, no, almost two years. But I've been there for three years. I literally been there for about three years. So now after being there for three years, three years, three years, I'm going to say this one more time, three years at Ruby Tuesday as a dishwasher. I get this freaking bullshit, right? I get this bullshit urge that 
Today is not going to be good. Today is going to be pretty bad. But I just like pretend and forget that shit was not going to even be there. So I walk in, I punch in, and I start going washing this big piles of fucking dishes the whole entire time. And this is not the first fucking time I wash piles of dishes. You want to know how many times I've been doing that type of shit? Hmm, maybe about three years. No, 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 no. Ever since his ass finally showed up that whole entire years after saying words fuck to the other dishwasher, he can go do whatever the fuck he wants. He can quit this job whatever and leave one dishwasher to do all the fucking work. All the work. Wash all the piles of dishes. Coming in around 6 o'clock in a freaking p.m. Coming in 6 o'clock and wash all them piles of dishes. Well, Mike, it's kind of obvious and it's very common sense. That, um, that's your job. It's your job. Are you fucking stupid? Do you understand it or realize that as a dishwasher, it's your job to wash the dishes that you're supposed to wash? If there are going to be piles of dishes. But, but when the business is really fucking slow, and this is around 2 o'clock, and I'm not there. I don't have to punch it until 6 o'clock. I'm at home, laying down, sleeping probably. Or I'm probably doing whatever I was, you know, what man do. Maybe, you know, jerk playing with a joystick. You don't know. But what I'm saying is, you know, I'm my, I'm my own damn myth, but pretty much doing something for YouTube. Don't know what I'm doing. But, um, maybe, maybe, maybe throughout them two other hours, you could have literally have somebody from maybe in the back or somewhere in the front who can jump in the back and kind of wash them piles of dishes down real quick. So I don't have to walk in constantly every single day basis of have to say, damn, who was the last person here who did wash the fucking dishes? Because I'm getting to the point sick tired of walking in here and seeing piles of dishes every single time when we're not busy. Now, again, now and to me, I got more manager of respect. So I'm not saying that shit. I'm keeping it in my head. I'm saying all this in my head, but I'm not saying it in out loud. So my actions are not showing more than my, more than my thoughts are showing my thoughts are showing it in my head but my actions are not speaking it you know so as i'm as i'm being cool i'm sitting there man this ain't shit this ain't nothing to me man fuck this this is this whole pile of this is a shit right so these whole piles ain't nothing to me so i'm washing these dishes now i'm washing this now as i'm washing these piles of dishes here comes the manager himself now mind you i'm washing these whole pile of dishes by myself Oh, hey, Michael. Yeah, what's up? Did you watch these silverware? Did you watch them twice? Wait, wait. Hold on. I was listening to music because in the back you got this big-ass loud dishwasher machine the whole entire time. And I remind you, you're in the back during that. So imagine you being there for three years hearing that shit. So, I mean, in the back, you're not, you're, you're not out there. So, I mean, you can't listen to music if you're out there. That's what talking to customers and shit. That's a different story. But if you're in the back, you're dealing with this mercer machine? You shit, might as well listen to music or something. Keep you occupied, you know? So I'm listening to music, whatever. And I take one earbud out. And all of a sudden, he said, did you watch these twice? I said, yes, sir. And um, he says, well, I'm sick and tired of people standing there doing nothing. Pause for a fucking moment. Now, who the hell are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Do I look like a fucking dumbass right now to expect that I'm just maybe the one who's standing here doing nothing? Or maybe, maybe, or maybe you're just probably trying to point to direct that gun to somewhere else. Because I know you ain't pointing that gun at me and firing that bullet at me and telling me that I'm the fucking target that you're saying to. Because I know for a fact that I just walked in, just got there by the way, at 6 o'clock. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. I just got there at 6 o'clock, just punch in and everything. You're going to come in out of nowhere and tell me that I'm the, I'm the one who's standing here doing fucking nothing as I'm washing these dishes. Now hold on, let me continue what he said. I'm sick and tired of people who are doing nothing, staying there doing nothing, and let the servers do all the work. up hold the fuck up let me tell you something now i wasn't saying like that towards him i wasn't i was saying that shit to myself you know because that, that's a general manager but you know i hold my tongue in so i let that shit slide but now now pretend pretend i'm saying this shit in my head so this is what i'm saying in my head now hold the fuck up i know i'm not the only one who's standing there doing jack shit at this moment first of all i just got here and second of all i walked in with piles of fucking dishes and you're saying that you're sick and tired of servers doing all the damn job well maybe in your fucking dumbass head you could have maybe realized or so that you could maybe have somebody else to go in the back real quick and wash some dishes before the dishwasher shows up 
Because if you're saying you let the servers do all the work, is it maybe because that you're probably telling the servers go in the back real quick because the dishwasher is not here yet to go wash some dishes real quick, get them down to a certain point, and then when the dishwasher comes in, he will do the work for you? Fuck you! Who the fuck you think you are from that? Who the fuck? Well, I'm the general manager. I can do what the hell I want. But you don't have to be a fucking dumbass about it. You don't have to start saying, well, I'm sick and tired of people who are, who are just, just sitting there doing nothing and letting servers do all the damn work. Well, if you don't got no other dishwasher on the fucking line who ain't doing jack shit, or maybe you don't got no other dishwasher from fucking to begin with, you got no other dishwasher, and that other dishwasher who just came in around 6 of fucking clock, you gonna jump his ass for no fucking reason? Tell him he ain't doing. He's just sitting there doing nothing while he's washing piles of fucking dishes. He said he let the servers do all the damn work. Then what the fuck you thinking? What the what the, what what have you been smoking right now? I want to know point fucking blank. If you're on some highest freaking weed or whatever you're smoking, I know for a fact you're on them clouds. That cloud is really freaking high right now. You're on that shit. That highest level of cocaine or what the hell if you're on? You're on that shit. I would smoke that shit with you. I would join you. I would join that club and be on that shit. Play some Bob Marley. Yeah, yeah, I wanna I wanna I wanna play that shit. Or um In every life we have some trouble But when you worry you make it double Don't worry I want to smoke that shit with you, bro. Because real talk, I know, I know you're not talking that shit to me. But you know what? That's cool. That's cool. So, Michael, what I want you to do, I want you to short these civil words out, put them in a rack, and wash them through, and give them to the servers. When did this fucking happen? When did this fucking rule come out of nowhere? I just think that he just thought that... Hmm, something needs a change. Something needs a change. For for the business to start going a lot more faster and everything, I think I need to start changing rules on people who just just doesn't know, just doesn't understand. I wanna be I want that person to unexpect the rule. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Let me pull it out of my ass. Oh, okay, okay. I wanna make make sure that Michael to, to wash the silverware and then put it on a sort amount of shit. That's what you're supposed to fucking do. No, fuck you. Hold up. No, first of all, my main job as a dishwasher is to wash the dishes and also wash the silverware and wash the glass and all that type of shit and wash the pots and all that type of shit. But it's not my fucking job to sort them out though. Because guess what? I've been there for three fucking years. And that you've been there for a year and a half, almost two years. And you're finally starting to tell me that you're sick and tired of shit. But you've been there for a year. Why you could have said this for in the beginning, I would understand it. But if you're gonna start saying that you're sick or tired of shit and let the service, let the server do all the damn work, maybe it's up to you to start having your big boy pants and put them fucking on real quick, and maybe hire somebody else who can find wash some dishes or whatever, or um maybe um start telling the service what the fuck to do because um because if the servers are not doing jack shit, they got nothing else to do, and you want them to make them look busy, and you're telling. I'm going to fucking back and wash some damn dishes and shit. Then what the fuck are you on right now again? Again, I want to be play. I want that. I want to. I want to smoke that shit. And I want to be playing some Bob Marley. And I want to just just to chill and hang out with you because I know you're on some high shit right now. Just to tell this to me. So but you know what? I'm playing. I'm just you know I'm done. You know I call it quits. You know I'm cool. I'm cool. So I let that go by. So I said you know what? I'm just going. I'm going to sort them out as a fucking dishwasher. But here's this is what the server's fucking job is. The server. Is is to serve plates, to serve them out there to the fucking customers. And after the customer gets done, they go to their tables that they're assigned to, go pick up their plates, and go, you know, scrape them out with the forks that they, the customers ate with. Right? And then give me the plate, and he put the silver in the freaking basket, whatever. And then by the time the silvers are completely stacked up to a certain point, I go grab a fucking clear flat ass rack and pick up the fucking damn silverware and put it in the motherfucking flat rack and then push it through the damn 
machine. That's my job. Your job as a fucking server. Your job as a fucking manager to understand that this is what a service job is supposed to fucking do. Their job is to grab literally the fucking silverware as it gets done washing. It's their job is to pick that bitch up and put it on their line, sort the motherfuckers out, and put it in a green basket, and then give that green basket to me that after they get done sorting out the fucking silverware and shit, put it, give that green basket to me, and then I push it through the damn machine once or two times, and then give that freaking green basket right back to them, and they start to roll the fuck up. That's their fucking job, not my fucking job. My fucking job was the other way around. And then, here's the fucking thing about it. Maybe, maybe after that whole fucking year, you did not fucking realize this, but that's been like that ever since I signed up. And guess what? It's been like that for all of these many years when Miss Mary was there. Miss Mary was fucking there. She was there too. And I asked her the fucking question. When she saw that bullshit, guess what the fuck happened? Guess what the fuck happened? Let me tell you so. I walked up and I told Miss Mary. I said, Miss Mary, tell me this. You've been here more than I have. You've been here more about, oh, six years? Okay. So over them six years, has a manager, um, had to, had you ever had to do this? Like, you had to, as you get done washing the silverware that you just cleaned, then you had to go sort them out real quick, put it in a green basket, pick up the green basket, put it in a little flat rack or whatever, and push it through the machine? You don't, wait, no, what, what, what? You don't have to? Oh, okay. So he just did that to me and me only. So, so I test this. I put this to the fucking test, and guess what I fucking did? I said, all right, I'll wait for the, I'll wait for the next rack. I'll wait for the, uh, I'll wait for some more dirty silverware. So finally, this dirty silverware started to pile it up. I grabbed that flat rack, you know, push it through the machine. I put it right in their fucking area. That was my job. That was my job. It's put over there, and now their job is to grab the flat rack, put it on their thing, and sort them out, put it on a green table. I mean, put it in the green thing, give that green thing to me, push it through the machine. That was my job to pick up the green thing. After they give it to me, I pick it up, push it through the machine. I go over there, or they go over there, pick it up from the other side. After it comes through the other side, and they go over there, and they go over the back, and start sorting and then start rolling them up. That's how it's supposed to go down. But, so, but it did it. So he comes back the second fucking time. He comes back the second fucking time with the bullshit. He goes like this. Mike, what have I just told you? I told you that I'm sick and tired of seeing, seeing servers doing, doing your job. <sighs> I'm saying this in my head. Bitch, who the fuck you think you are right now? Who the fuck you think you are to tell me that you're, you're sick and tired of servers doing their- This is their fucking job! They signed up for this shit! This is not your fucking job. This is not your fucking job. It's not your job to change the rules out of the fucking blue. After a year or two later goes by, you seeing this shit right now, you're seeing this, and now you want to change the rule out of nowhere, but he's not changing the rule just to everyone. He's only changed the rule on me and me self. He's not doing that to nobody else. So, in your mind, you're thinking, he's trying to get he's trying to get you fired, bro. Yeah, I kind of see that. I kind of expected it. But, so what happens is that, um, you know, right now, he, um, he, um, so he tells me, he tells me, he's sick of tired. He's like, I already told you this, that you need to sort them out, put an agree rant, and give it back to them. Okay, okay. And right there, that's how I had enough. But, Michael, why would you give up? I mean, you should have realized that maybe at a different job you might find, they might do that to you. So, don't you think that no, but you gotta understand. If you're just just starting to do this after two years later, the rule has never changed. Because guess what? Guess what? After that day later, I went to a different Ruby Tuesday and I asked him the same fucking question. This different Ruby Tuesday was right by freaking miles, by five miles away from me. I asked him the same fucking question. Guess what? Oh, the manager that I knew, he was working over there. And this manager, by the name of Mr. Michael, he was literally over there the whole entire time. So he was working at a different Ruby Tuesday. He left this Ruby Tuesday because he transferred to that Ruby Tuesday. So I went up there and I saw and I saw how the business was going. And quite frankly, that's like me going to a same restaurant at a different location and doing the same shit. That's exactly what I saw that whole entire time. I was like, man, I wish I could move over here. Because I saw two dishwashers. At my area, there was no two dishwashers. But there was only one dishwasher doing all the fucking work at my area. At the other area, two dishwashers. And so I stopped and asked Mr. Michael. I said, Mr. Michael, I got one quick question. Yeah, what's up? And first of all, I said, how's your day and all that type of stuff. And I started asking, Mr. Mike, I got one question. Yeah, what's up? All right, so I got one question. Um, is it the server's job to sort out the silverwares and put it in a green rack and then get the green rack to the dishwasher and he puts it through the machine? And now so he gives the he gives the silver back to the uh, service and they roll them up. Yeah, that's literally the service job. They're supposed to do that. 
well, well, how about this? Uh, is it this dishwasher's job to sort out the silverware and put them in a green rack and then give it and then push it through the machine and give it and give it to the service desk? No, no, that's not their job. That's not the dishwasher's job. The dishwasher job is just supposed to be wash, put them in a rack, put it in a flat rack after they're dirty, you know, grab the basket, grab the, you know, the dirty basket has dirty silverware, put it in a flat rack, spray it off real quick, push it through the machine, and then uh, pick it up, and then go give it to the uh, give it to the service and let them sort it out. That's how it's supposed to work. But no, at my area, it's a whole vice fucking versa. So, so, but guess what? You know, but guess what? I'm kind of glad because, um, I'm kind of glad I left because guess what? Who's there who called all this? Miss Mary and a couple of the servers. Because the servers, they've seen this shit. They saw that I was getting jumped for this bullshit for no reason. And they say it's bullshit because that's supposed to be our job. Thank you! Because the servers literally say it's our job to sort them out and put in the green rack and all that type of shit. It's our job. But he was jumping at me telling me he's sick and tired of me standing around doing nothing. But yet, I came in and there was a pile of dishes. Where the fuck did you ever ca catch me doing nothing and there's a pile of fucking dishes? I think I will be a... Just literally a fucking dumbass to literally stand there doing this. Yeah, that's a dumbass. Or, or you know, or, or here's another dumbass. Here's another dumbass. Okay, so clear example: the head honcho, the other head honchos who are above the general managers. So. Say for example, by the name of blah blah blah. So by the name of blah blah blah, he comes in. He's the head honcho of. He's above the general managers. He's the head over the general manager, right? So he said he comes up to you. Hey man, yeah, yeah, what's up? Um, got a quick question. You know how to do desserts? <sighs> Repeat that again. I got a quick question. Do you know how to do dessert desserts? <laughs> Dishwasher, how the fuck do I know how to do damn dessert? I know what desserts look like apple pies, cherry pie, you know, ice cream, uh, cupcake, you know, that type of shit, cakes, you know, that type of shit, icing, you know, uh, ice cream cake thing, you know, the you know, you got the little glass, you know, that little wine glass thing, but the big ass ones look like for Sundays and shit, you know, you got that, uh, you got that long rectangle plate, and you put the friggin' uh, like the glass thing, you tilt, you put it on it, you put it, you know. Face, face it down and like have the cake inside the glass like it, like it fell out of the cup you know that type of thing uh, f uh there's cake inside of it and there's ice cream the ice cream kind of you know does that and you put like caramel right on top you know do this number right on top of the freaking thing put it on the side like the thing spilled that thing oh yeah yeah um yeah i definitely yeah I i've seen people do that but that doesn't mean i fucking know how to do it you know that does mean that oh oh well okay um what i want you to do is i want you to stop what you're doing so there's piles of fucking dishes i i, I put you on this there's piles of dishes so i want you to stop what you're doing while well, there's piles of dishes right there stop what you're doing and i want you to go over there by pantry and anthony will tell you what to do oh, oh okay now, here's a dumbass. As as we're busy, right? We're fucking busy. And then you got the uh got the head honcho, the head honcho, the head head honcho. When I said head head honcho, I mean he's the bigger head honcho of the general manager. So the head head honcho, he goes and tells you to go over there, stop what you're doing, go over there, nearby pantry, and let Anthony tell you what to do for the desserts. Alright, now as we're busy, I'm doing this. Cause Anthony says that quotes, give me one minute. And I'll tell you exactly what you need to do for the desserts. Okay. Three minutes goes by. Fuck it, I quit. I'm going back and do dish. And then here comes freaking head head honcho coming back again and tells me like, hey, I want you to go over there and go um, I want you to go over there and go help Anthony with the dessert. Oh hell no! We're fucking busy. I don't want the I don't want General Manager to walk in and tell me what the fuck I am doing. 
I'm standing here doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. You want me to go over there and, and do nothing? Wow, Mr. Anthony ain't telling me to do shit. He's just doing his job. I ain't doing nothing. So why want me? Why you want me to go over there and stand there and just wait for the inevitable for Mr. General Manager comes out of nowhere and tells him, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you standing there? You need to go back over there and go wash some dishes. Because that's exactly what he was going to do. So I was going to be stupid enough to do that type of shit. Well, and then now here comes Mr. Head, Head Honcho again the third time. Comes flopping through them damn doors like... Pff, pff, pff. Right? So he comes to the damn door. He said, well, since you're not doing desserts, uh, we do need some soup. We do, we do need some spoons and everything. You got spoons out there, right? You got spoons in here. Why do you say you need spoons? You could have just grabbed all the fuck. So what he did, he grabbed all the damn spoons. And then he just goes right down to the big flopping ass door. Right? So he goes out to the big flopping doors. Right? And so then afterwards, after he gets done, after he gets done, going out to that fucking damn door. Now, here comes the bullshit of all bullshit. Here comes this shit. Now, and he comes out to the big flopping doors. Right? He comes out. And then... I get this head honcho, when I said head honcho, I mean general manager, when I said head head honcho, the uh, over the head general manager, that's the head head honcho from a different company, I mean, same company, but a different area, but he's the head head honcho above the general manager, so the head head honcho, right, but the head honcho, he comes in, he says, Michael, we need some silverware, we got no spoons, motherfucker, head honcho, the head head honcho just went outside with it, what the fuck you gonna tell me, what, you need more silverware, we, we need more spoons, do I look like I'm a fucking, do, do I look like a dumbass right now who has silverware, who has spoons, at least I don't got no damn spoons. I got forks and knives. So, but oh, Michael, and also let you know you need to wash these silver reds real quick. And um, I want you to sort them out, put them in the green red. Oh, so I, I at this point I just like I said, well, fuck it. So, so um, when Sunday came around that next day after that bullshit flew off, that Sunday came around. I walked in. Sunday was my last day because I knew the next day I was not going to go in. So that Sunday, the Sunday, when I went in, I did this. I walked in and I said that, su and that Sunday, I was like, oh, hey, what's up? And everybody thought that I was not going to quit. Man, they both look foolish as fuck. So, but, but it was like, oh, man, I thought you was going to quit. No, yeah, I wasn't going to quit. Not yet. But I told him, I told him straight up. I said, yeah, I'm going to quit today. It's my last day. Said, no, you're not. You're not going to do it. You quit lying. I said, all right, you're about to find out. So, um, so, so now, this that Sunday, and this is where I just punch in around 11 o'clock and just go washing dishes. Now, throughout that whole three hours, everything was smooth. 11, 12, 1. Starting around 11, then 12 and 1, nothing happened. Everything was smooth. Here comes the bullshit-ass silverware excuse again. Michael, I need you to sort out these silverware, put it in the green rack, and then give it to the servers, because I don't want... The server is doing all the work. Okay, then what is the server's job to do then? If it's not, if you don't want them to do all the work, what is their job then? Their job is to physically sort out the silverware as it gets done being washed the first time or the second time. To sort them out. They sort them out. They push it in the green rack. They put it in the green little bracket thing. Back it. Bucket. Back it. Rack it. What the fuck ever. Put it in a little green racket or whatever. Basket. What the fuck ever. They put it in there and he gave the green basket to me. And then I put it through the machine. And then I grab the fucking thing. And then I give it to them. That's how it's supposed to be working. But no. So, today, you want to put that shit on me again? <clears throat> I have pictures to fucking prove what the fuck the fucking employees are doing at this particular freaking damn moment where we're not fucking busy. The moment we're not busy, the moment that we are slow on that day, and I mind you, the whole entire time, we was slow that whole damn day. The whole entire time, we was fucking slow on that damn day. Guess what? You want to see some pictures? Well, guess what? So after the first time he tells me that fucking bullshit, I start taking pictures. I said, okay, yeah, sure. So I grabbed the two fucking green baskets and did this. That was one. And then now, after after I get done pushing it through the machine, I put it over there, and there was no server around at that whole entire time. So a whole hour later, nobody was in there. But uh, guess what it was, though? All the motherfucking servers was in there, in the fucking bar area, talking the whole entire time. Two fucking people was sitting there just doing this. Like, they got nothing else to fucking do. Look like they had the fucking fingers and messing with their fucking... N never mind. But anyway, so you got them servers. <laughs> You know what's funny? You know what's funny about that place? I'm being 100% real. Most of them peoples up there, they're all fucking females. Quote me not. There's more females compared to males. There's males in the kitchen, but there's females in the fucking back. Oh, wait, no, hold on. There's females and males in the back, but in the front, there's all females. Okay. So anyway, but anyway, 
Um, but that's not the point. That's not the point. So, um, so now, one hour goes by. This is around one o'clock. Now, I just got done with the green rags. I just got done. They're, they're over there, sitting, chilling, like a villain. You know, they ain't doing shit. You know, they're chilling like a fucking villain, you know? And then here comes, oh, more silverware. More silver that I just got just got dirty. So they get so I I was being the nice one. They want to hear his fucking mouth again. I pick up the dirty ones that my job is to pick up the dirty dish, the di dirty silverware, put it in a flat rack and push it through. That's my job as a dishwasher. And so, but wait, before I did it, this is what I see. You see that picture? That picture right there shows now. That is a dirty pallet of silverware. Now, wait, you're sick and tired letting the servers do all the work? Now, where's another green basket? I need it to wash again. I need to sort them out. That's my fucking job, right? Right? That's my fucking job, right? That's my fucking job. So, I need a green basket, but guess what? You know what I did? I pushed the motherfuckers through. After I got done taking that picture, I pushed the motherfuckers through and let them sit there because I don't want to pick them assholes up and put it on a freaking service area and um let them sit there and let the head honcho. What the fuck is this? I told you to sort them out. Nigga, where's a green basket? I don't have a green basket. I need a green basket. For me to be able to sort them out, I need to have another green basket. You only got two motherfuckers. Oh, maybe maybe it's time for your ass to finally pick your big pan voice up. You need to uh, start doing this. Pull them up and um start maybe telling some um employees who are not who are just sitting there doing this number, playing with themselves, you know, go out there and tell them, get your asses up, get the fuck up, go in there and roll them civil wars up. Because Michael needs a basket, which is not y'all job no more. He needs to sort them out and push it through the machine. He needs it. But guess what? That shit never happened. It didn't happen. So after my shit finally got over, guess what? I didn't come in on fucking Monday because I'm not going to do the same bullshit again that's why I fucking left that's why I didn't want to that's why I never had on a second job in my hand because why why hold another job in your hand if you're gonna keep dealing with the same bullshit over and 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 over again why have the same fucking bullshit why have the same stupid ass fucking bullshit all over again why go through it the whole entire time why go through it so, but Michael, you gotta have a second job in here before you quit. Yeah, I wanna hold that, I wanna, I wanna go waste a whole fucking month. Can't find another fucking job. Because, you know, it really, because, you know, some restaurants are really picky about, you know, you, you get what I mean? Some restaurants, managers-wise, managers are picky about, you know, and you got, you got some people who are, oh, sorry, we got no uh, openings right now, da 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 bullshit. Right, so you know you got that crap, right? Right, you got that crap. So now, so as I'm trying to find this job, I'm still getting bitch stacking and jumped at for no dumbass reason, and getting some stupid ass excuse throughout this whole entire rest of these months as I'm trying to find another job. So right there, I'm at the boiling point. I want to slap him right across the fucking face. I just want to do that real quick. I'm at that point. So why do you want me to expect there to stay there the whole entire rest of my fucking months just to find another job and then say? Fuck you! And leave, and leave. Why do you want me to waste that whole entire time to ha still have that job in my hand? Well, Michael, you're, at least you're making money. Yes, I understand. At least I'm making money. But if I'm going to keep getting jumped that 24 fucking 7 flat base, there's no fucking point staying in there. There's no point staying there the whole entire time and getting jumped that 24 7. No, it's time to fucking leave because the building's doing this. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. You know, the building is collapsing. It's collapsing. You don't see this. But when it's happening to you, you will see this. Because the dishwasher, right? Here's the dishwasher. Here's the dishwasher. No, 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 no. Here's the dishwasher, right? The dishwasher's right fucking here, right? Now, as I turn, here's where you put your pots and pans and shit at. Here's where you put your pots and pans and shit at, right? So there, here's a shelf right here, and here's a shelf right there, right? So I'm tall enough to do this number, because I can, like, I can chunk shit go like this. You know what I mean? I can put it, I can put it over myself, you know what I'm saying? So now here's a pot and now here's a shelf right here. So I can just do this. Now mind you, that shelf, it's been this shelf right here, part right here is broken off. So this is broken off. Now it's tilted. Now this shelf right here is tilted and that thing never got fixed. I told the manager to be to um to fix this one day. I said, hey, we need to get this fixed so I be guys so I can be able to put pots and pans back up there. And the nigga didn't do it. So the nigga didn't do it. He just did this. He said, oh, well, I'll get it fixed. Nigga didn't have it fixed. And I bet you guarantee right the fuck now. I bet you guarantee that it's still there, not got fixed. So why work there 
if nothing's not changing? Why work there if nothing's not being fixed? Why work there if you're still getting, getting piece of shit on? I mean, why? Just why? Why work there if you're getting dumped on by all these other managers who are not being that manager? Why? Why? Because you're going to hit that boiling point too where you're going to slap the fuck out of them eventually. You're going to hit that boiling point. You're going to be saying, I can't do this no more. Fuck it. I'm not going to hold. I'm, I'm quit and I'm going to find another job right there and there. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done. So what I did, I just didn't show up, and next day, I kind of, next couple days, I just relaxed. And then turned around, started finding another job, and guess what? I found another job that week later, because, uh, and guess what? It's in the same area, but it's in a different location. Same area, but a different area. Uh, I'm working at a different location now, and I start working tomorrow. So, but anyway, but like I said, so I'm just giving you the heads up. And, um, but, you know, that's all I just want to say about what's been going down and everything. I know this is a long video, but, you know, but I might put this in two parters to explain the situations and also, or I might just have this in one part, but have this kind of sorted out, you know, but, you know, again, so, but yeah, but anyway, if you have enjoyed this, please hit the like button, but also if you have enjoyed this, please make sure you pin on the subscribe button if you have not, and also if you want to hear more about my bullshit experience that I have went through for other restaurant, Please let me know by putting a comment down below. And also, um, yeah, so all that I just want to say is thank you, Pissy Pippa, so much for joining me. Now, it's definitely be bad to do a new Dark Mike whatever video. Till next time, uh, stay tuned for a new Dark Mike whatever video. I am Dark Mike, just have a Dark Mike game. Thank you, Pissy Pippa, once again for joining me. Better come back now here. Keep you pimp hands strong. Stay pimping. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. And mosh.